Hey guys, this is Outdoors Channel 44, and I'm going to be doing a video on how to convert a lawnmower trailer into a ATV trailer. And uh, this is what I've gotten done so far. It's just about done. I'm just going to add a few more things. But I'm going to go in depth of how I've done that, and then um, I'll go ahead and finish the trailer, and then there'll be a little bit of... Uh, me using the trailer in the video too. I'm going to take you over to uh, this trailer hooked up to my four wheeler here. And this is the first one I got. This one was a lot cheaper for a uh, trailer. Got it at Royal King. It's like, it was like $89. But it's done really good. It's been a good trailer. Um, I'll show you here how I've done this. So. So on this one, it is a little dirty right now, but you can see how that bent on me. I didn't think that was going to happen, but I straightened the metal up a little bit, quite a bit. I put some uh, quarter inch uh, pieces of metal on there, of iron, and uh, I bolted it on there, but uh, I kind of rolled it over and it flipped over with uh, some stuff in it and that's what happened to it so that's what happened here but this trailer is still a good trailer and uh yeah so this is how i done this trailer and this is exactly how i done that how i'm going to do that trailer which i already have but uh i was just wanting to show you all this trailer just to show you all that you don't have to pay uh i think it was two I think it was $189. So pretty much $200. And it is a little hard to, it fits the ball really good. And I got my bolt, my bolts back. Got my trailer done. I got my lights and all worked up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna paint the ball in the boat blue and then I'm gonna get a new motor. And, uh, Sorry, excuse me. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video on the boat here one day when I get when I feel like getting started on it. Once the trailer's done, but what I'm, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the boat off and put it on um, uh, stands and paint the bottom and everything, and then I'll show you all the trailer and what all I've done to it too. But this is about the trailer. Went off on a little uh, rabbit trail, but I sat down on my little chair. So, oh, another thing I forgot to mention. So this little thing right here was up here, and that's how it comes. And then it comes with a pin that looks like this. It comes with a pin that looks just like this, and I could have used it the other way without doing any of this stuff. But, if I just took the ball off of my full wheeler, because there's a hole there where the ball goes through, I could just use this. And I don't want to do that because I'd be going off on trails and stuff with this, and I wanted it to have a little bit more lead room. I mean, this ain't giving it a lot. Well, some other people um, put a little bit more effort into giving it a lot more uh, reel room. Like, we'll put like a swivel or something on there where it can go all the way around. But I don't want to do that. So, this is what I'm going to do. And y'all can uh, uh, do what I do or do something different. But uh, I'll show you here. So what I've done here is I've put a lot of bolts in here. I've bolted this uh, 7 8 ball. Uh, and then it's, you can see right there, that's what it is. And I'll show you. This is, that's. There's the brand, but there's the price tag right there. So $189. And I'll put those on there to put a put budget cords across right there. And I'm gonna put uh, another one, two more, a few more back there. And then I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna put a little hole, I'm gonna drill a hole back there at the tailgate on both sides and bolt to where I can uh, take it on and off. But uh, so that was up there. This was up here and I bolted onto the side here. I'm gonna put a chain through here and bolt it onto my four wheeler. So if the ball ever comes off, the trailer won't completely come off. That's just another, that's an idea I had on that one and I wanna do it on this one. But I never did get a chain for that one, that little trailer over there. But I'm gonna do it for this one. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So under here, I got um, some, uh, I forget what it was called, but it was some kind of metal. It was like a four foot piece of metal from Real King. And uh, it was like $15 or something. But it was pretty good. And that's what I used here to uh, strengthen this on there. And this piece of metal here, it's all one piece. So it goes all the way to right here. And I like that because it's, uh, say if uh, like it set the metal broke like up here somewhere, like the this part, which I don't think that'll happen, but say if it broke like right there, it would still be attached back there. So I don't think that'll ever happen. And this is way overkill of strengthening it, but I want to do it because uh, I did. And then I voted it on top. Bolted off to the sides. I bolted off so there. So there are six bolts holding this on here. And then <clears throat> they're metal that goes all the way back there. And I put another little piece of metal down there because I had a little extra. But uh, so that's how I'm going to do there. And the trailer is really, I mean, there ain't no give at all. I mean, like, you, I mean, it's a good solid trailer. This thing's heavy too. I mean, when my dad went and got it, out when he went and got it uh, for um, he went and got it out in his truck and uh, me and him like to never got it out of the truck but uh, yeah we we're gonna do it on a trailer but we ended up not doing that but uh, I'm gonna show you all got show you guys what I've done here so there was a hole here just like that one over there and I just used that for that one I just had to drill one hole there and I drilled two holes for that one and I'm gonna put another, I think I have two more of these. No, I have a, yeah, I do have two more of these, and then I have another one of those. I'm gonna put those down through here, and uh, mainly just to give something to hold on to, like if there's somebody riding in here. That was, that's one reason, and then to uh, put stuff on the trailer and different things. I might do something different, I don't know. Um, on that trailer, uh, one thing I do like is that top thing, the front of it, you can, there's holes in it. Where you can like put hammers and stuff and i'm thinking i might do something on this trailer to do that to be able to do that but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do but guys i'll get back to y'all here in a minute well it's not gonna be a minute for y'all it's gonna be about a second for y'all but i'll see you back what right. i've gotten done um so i had all that and i put this on here and this is uh, just bolted it on there, drilled a hole through it. I'll have a press course on this one and I double netted this one so that's going to be on there good. And I uh, put it there so I can put me a hammer there. So uh, yeah, put me a hammer there or a hatchet, whatever I want to put there and it'll be fine. So, uh, next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put another one in. I'm going to put this. Either on this side or that side, this little thing. So, uh, let me go put this on and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I made a little bit more changes. I've got a little bit more done. So, what I've done over here, this is a permanent screw. It's not going to go anywhere. I've got it tightened down there with the crush washer. It's not going to go nowhere. On this one, on this piece right here, just this right here, I have it threaded. And then this is going through it. I have a washer there. Then I have a nut under there. And then I have a hand tight nut down here. If you can see that. Yeah, so I've got that there. So to take the bed off, I'll untighten that uh, hand tight screw. There's another one. It's the same thing over here, just a little bit different screw. But the same thread, so it'll take the same thread. It doesn't matter, it's the same thread, just a different head. And uh, this is still a permanent screw. And then I have 
this, this one for down there, for this hole. And I'll put this one in there. I mean, it's really simple. It doesn't take any time or anything. And it's not hard either, so that's why I've done it. So, you just put that in there and then go under and tighten it up real quick. This, I done this, I mean, one of, this one screw down here in the bottom would have been enough. But I like doing stuff to where, I mean, that's not going anywhere. And I'm thinking about doing, I, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some kind of license plate on the back. Like a, probably an arm, one of the army uh, tag or something. I don't know. But uh, I'll do that later. But I ain't going to do it tonight. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow to work on this thing again. But um, you all, that'll be the next video you'll be watching. So uh, go watch it. It'll be, it'll be like a little, uh, little switch onto it. So go figure out what I'm going to do. Y'all are actually going to figure out, well, no. Never mind. Go see what I'm gonna do, and uh, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I've got this side done, so I have a bolt here. I have to take it off to get the um, tailgate off. This is on here for good. It's just making this little uh, connection right here a little bit stronger. And how I have it here is the hole threaded, and then I have a little quick release or hand release thing. I don't have to have any kind of. Uh, uh, tools other than a Phillips head screwdriver which I always have that on my multi-tool um, right here so I always have a, I have a Phillips head on my or a flat head on my multi-tool here and I can just get that off real quick if I need to take the uh, tailgate off now I'm gonna do the same thing over here I've got the hole almost drilled through and then I'm gonna thread it with that little thing and then uh, I might put me a little uh, something special on the back, but uh, get back, we're going to get to see a little bit more done here in about a second. Hi guys, I'm back. Got that bolted down there, and uh, that's on there good. And how I'm going to bolt down this, uh, the tailgate, I've got a hole right there, and I'm going to put a screw through there, and then I'm going to have a bolt here, and a bolt here. What I'm going to do... So I'm going to drill a hole and then I'm going to thread the hole and put the bolt through there and uh, then I'll put like a uh, like a hand tight uh, nut on the back um, like this. Put one of these on there to where I can hang tight it, hand tightening it with my hand. So uh, that's what I'm going to do there. This is the bolt for the bottom and I'm going to have a uh, two little small ones just like this for the sides there but uh and then i'm thinking about um i might do some more stuff to the back but uh let me do some more and then i'll uh stop and do another video or i'll stop and add some more to the video and uh tell you all some more information this is what i've gotten so far i'm gonna give y'all a little uh clue on how to Put one of these on here. That's how I've been doing it, because I just get it from doing it on a drill bit. <clears throat> and I get the natural piece, put it on there, and then I'll get a, uh, a sharpie and mark it. I know this is black on black, but you can see it. So it does work like that. So I'm going to try to do this one handed and film it at the same time. Not sure if I can do that. Maybe like this. Alright, so. Alright, I'm not going to be able to do that. Do y'all understand? Just mark it with a sharpie or something or a soap stone or something. And then uh, drill the holes and then put it on there. And then uh, after I get that done, I'll come back to you. Here in the Alright, I got the holes drilled. Let's see if it'll work. And it works. So I'm gonna bolt this on here, and then uh, I'll get back to you. Hey All right, guys, I'm back. Um, got the trailer done. I've uh, put these on there, uh, here, and an eye over there. Um, I have this on there. Got one over there. Those are some bolts right there. 
I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those here in a minute. And I got these on here. I'm gonna put some bungee cords here. That's so I can slip a hammer down in there. And then uh, I've done some more stuff back here. Put me a license plate and a sticker on there. Kind of put the license plate on there so I just drilled holes through there, through the tailgate, and put on bats in the back. And now uh, <clears throat> I'll show you what I've done up here. Put a ball on there, be able to hook on my four wheeler. I put my little uh, chain here, hook it on right here. And remember, this piece right here was up here, and I mean, that's a perfect thing to use. Just take it off and put it on the side because it would have been in the way up there. And then another thing I want to do is I'm going to put a bungee cord around here. I just haven't done that. And that's just another thing to keep it from dumping while I'm riding. And it, it's a dump trailer, so... Well, it's a dump trailer, so you can dump stuff. But, I don't know. I have a little trailer to use for um, stuff that I'm really going to be needing to do stuff like that. I had this trailer, I bought it so I would go wild boar hunting but so I can put my boars in here. I can probably fit probably maxing out. I could probably fit out fit three boars in this thing. I don't want to put any more weight in that. Probably like three all right like three like maybe hundred pound boars. But uh I ain't gonna be bringing back anything real big. Um, cause the guy we're going to, he's just wanting them gone, as many gone as we want to, as we can kill, and I'll bring it back a few, probably like three or so, but, uh, yeah, so that's how that is, and I just bolted that metal on there and make it stronger, um, put these on there for bungee cords, and then I'm going to show you how the tailgate, and I have it on there, because earlier, well, after I got it all going I got that the hitch on there I want I drove it around after I got that down I hadn't done all any of that I just done the hitch and got it done and I drove it around and the tailgate fell off so I figured I need to do something to hold it down a little better and this is what I've done so I have this bolt here and I think I've already shown this in the video but I have shown it in the video but uh so all I do is just Put this bolt through there and then put this on the bottom. It's, it's real easy. Just lay my phone down for that. I mean, just put it on there and then throw it on there. Or not, screw it on. Then get a little bit of pressure on it and that's it. And then, here on the sides, I've shown you all this too. But I'm just going to redo it before the end of the video. <coughs> Put a nut on there, just as a as a spacer, and I put one of these on both sides. But uh, y'all probably don't really care about this, so I'm gonna get this done real quick, and then y'all can go see the trailer being pulled by the four wheeler, and then the video will be over. Well, okay, so I can't get that on there. But I think I like it, and uh, go uh, watch it, see how it does. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, before you go see the trailer being used, I'm not the gun rack that I had mentioned earlier in the video. It's not going to be in this video. Um, you'll see it in another video one day, but uh, I'm not going to be able to get those right now. It'll be a few, might be a week or two. But uh, go see how the trailer does. Yeah. Alright. Come, 
on the trailer. Show the back of it. 